subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video we all have seen the shot kick the ball with some spin and it will curve if you are lucky then ball will hit the goal this is known as curving the ball or bending the ball or else in fluid dynamics i am going to call it as magnus effect and supposingly the magnus effect can be reversed that is kick the ball in exact same way with the exact same spin and it will bend in the opposite direction we were attempting to film the magnus effect from above to try and capture the curve and then hopefully get the reverse first we tried the regular magnus effect with a soccer ball and that was perfect the ball is kicked on the right and therefore spinning counter clockwise and it curves to the left and now same kick with a smooth bouncy ball let us overlap and see the two kicks together you can see just how strange this is what's going on so what could make this extremely common effect suddenly reverse well first why does the regular magnus effect happen let us find out it's all about fluid dynamics in this case the dynamics is due to air remember scientists consider gases like air to be fluid now you know so when you kick the ball on the side just right it will start spinning as the spinning ball moves through the air you can also think of the air flowing past the ball right near the ball there is a thin layer of air that essentially stays right with the ball as it spins because of friction between the surface of the ball and the air molecules so on the bottom of the ball the air flow further out possesses the motion of the spinning ball that makes the air flow leaves the ball here and pretty much travel straight back the air moving over the top is flowing with the spin of the ball so it's pulled along the curve of the ball and deflects downwards overall more air is deflected downwards and by conservation of momentum when the air goes down the ball must go up at that moment due to the forward motion of the ball and it will look like it's curving now what is it about this smooth bouncy ball that causes the magnus effect to flip what is it that causes the reverse magnus effect let us find out so the key to reverse magnus effect is in the thin layer of air right next to the surface of the ball or what we call the boundary layer so the boundary layer can come in two basic variants you can have a laminar boundary layer or you can have a turbulent layer so laminar flow is smooth and orderly and it's like what you get when you first turn the water off and turbulent flow is what you get when you turn the water tap at a higher speed and it all goes crazy and on a soccer ball that's rough it's typically turbulent yes but if you really had a smooth ball instead the boundary layer might switch from being turbulent to being laminar so looking at our spinning ball again we can see that air flowing over the top is moving in the same direction as the spin of the ball that means the velocity difference between the air at the surface of the ball and the air a little away is going to be very small so our boundary layer here on top is going to become laminar sooner than the boundary layer on the bottom where the air is moving against the spin that laminar boundary layer on the top is not as good at striking the ball and it's actually going to separate right here at the top on the bottom of the ball the air is still moving fast relative to the surface of the ball so that boundary layer is going to stay turbulent turbulent boundary layers are better at striking to the curve of the ball so it's going to follow the curve of the ball around and be deflected upwards since the overall deflection of air around the ball is now upward 
And now let's take a beach ball and did indeed bend the wrong way and then put an elastic band around it. Then you will get it basically reverse the sign of the force. So of course we have to try this. And with the rubber band we saw some unusual behaviors. So the tiny rubber band is enough to cause the Magnus effect to flip back and forth. We also found some interesting things like the acceleration due to Magnus effect on some of these kicks was comparatively to gravity for the lighter ball. That's amazing. It's all about those boundary layers. So that was reversing the Magnus effect.